Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I have another book review for you and we're going to be reviewing one of the books that really, really uh, moved me from beginner to intermediate. Now, as you guys know, I started reading Expert at the Card Table, Expert Card Technique and Royal Road to Card Magic. And although those books were fantastic, um, there was a limit uh, when it came to the effectiveness and when it came to the quality of the gambling sleight of hand in those books. However, the book that we're going to be looking at today, which is Card Control by Arthur Buckley, would definitely have to be the one that took me to that next level. The thing about this book is that it contains an entire chapter solely devoted to cheating at cards and to gambling type of slights. That has its pros and its cons. You see, it's good because it is just one chapter of a book. So that means that only the best that Buckley had was what he put into the chapter. Now, that doesn't mean that the rest of the book is not very good. You can always use magic techniques to incorporate with your gambling slides. So that would definitely be a big pro. Another big pro for the book is that it uses pictures instead of drawings. And instead of having one drawing, maybe two, like in the other books, this one has one or two pictures. Sometimes I've even seen it have three and four pictures to better illustrate the moves that he's explaining. The pictures are not very good resolution and the worst part of the pictures is that they are black and white now i will take low resolution pictures over a drawing any day of the week because nothing beats seeing it for real like in a picture but that is a good thing and not a super good thing at the same time now the problems with the book is that there's only one chapter in Gambling Slides. And I would like to have more of that content on a book. And I will say this, the content on that chapter that deals with Gambling Slide of Hand, it isn't much, but it is nothing less than pure gold. When I started reading this, when I started diving into this, when I started working with this, I saw a dramatic increase in my gambling sleight of hand. I saw a dramatic increase in the things that I could do and the things that I could put together using the material that was in this one chapter. There are so many good things cheating at the card table in this one chapter that it's amazing. Things like utilizing shifts, working with bottom dealing, working with second dealing, working with uh, different types of false shuffles, false shuffles to control the bottom stock, false shuffles to control the top stock, working with crimps. I mean, it's just pure gold, the material that's on this one chapter. And it, it hurts me that it is just so little, but at the same time, I really like almost all of it because it is so good. He really did pack in there the very best of the best of the time. Now, the rest of the book does have other stuff that has to do with magic. It has a chapter that deals with palming, changes, color changes, estimations, cuts, crimps, uh, glides. It also works with jogs, estimating cuts. It also has multiple different uh, experiments with cards that you can do other things a lot of palming techniques and how to hide cards as you move your hands. I mean, in short, the sleight of hand in this book is top notch. It really is. If you are a magician, you're going to get far more content out of it. But still, the sleight of hand for magic purposes, it's just top notch. It really is very good. For the price of the book, I, I paid for this book $10 plus shipping. For that price, think about it. Just think about the the value for money you're getting in this book. It's a no-brainer. This is the this is the one book that you for sure have to get. Now, yes, there are better books out there. Of course they are. There are better books that deal with all of these topics. Yes, of course there are. 
But look at the price. Those are far more expensive. So do I recommend Car Control by Arthur Buckley? Yes, definitely. Um, if you have read Royal Road to Card Magic and if you have read Expert Card Technique and you're familiar with those two books and you want to have a book that has a little bit of everything, don't get Expert at the Card Table. Get this book. And if you have read Expert at the Card Table and you want to kick it up a notch, then this book with the chapter that deals with card cheating, it's going to be an excellent compliment for the for those of you who have read Expert at the Card Table and are, and are wanting to move on to the next thing. Because this one chapter will home in on everything that you've learned in Expert and simply take it to the next level. So yes, I highly recommend this book and it's really one of my favorites for sure. So that's going to be it for today guys thank you all for being here don't forget to subscribe to the channel click the bell icon like the video helps out a lot any questions leave them down in the comments below and i will see you next week